thanks for tuning in to another Burnt River Ranch video. As you can see behind me, I think fall has come to an end and winter is here. And that means it is time to sport my usual outfit of my plaid coat and my bun toque. Every single year, I think I say, I sure would love to slow down on projects in the summertime and enjoy what we've built. And for some reason that never seems to happen. So once again, we had a super busy summer full of projects on this ranch. So we just finished taking our butcher pigs in last week to the butcher shop. They finished out at a 265 pound live weight on average, which I'm really happy with. They were about six to seven months old. There were some younger ones in that group and some that were closer to the seven month mark. So I'm pretty happy with how those guys turned out and they looked really great, super healthy, nice, big, good looking pigs. So I'm very happy with how they did. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a video on exactly how much a pig eats, at least for our situation, to give people a rough idea of how much a pig actually goes through and feed, because I feel like there's definitely differing answers out there for that, so I want to go over that. This year again we raised broilers, we raised the Cornish Giant breed, we've done them in the past, I believe we did them in 2019 was the last time we did them, and then we did Western Rustics the year following that, and then we took a couple year break from raising meat birds, because both times we had kind of a poor experience with them and didn't yield good results. Small birds, tough birds, just overall wasn't great. So we opted to try them again this year. Um, Cole really wanted to try out meat birds, just enough for ourselves, which is what we did. Um, I'm a little on the fence about them still, but we did have good results with them this year and they were, they yielded a nice tasty fair sized bird. Um, they still took a lot longer than I would have liked to raise. I think the hatchery claims that they're ready anywhere between eight to 12 weeks, depending on how large you want them. Well, I'd say our guys are probably closer to the 20 week mark, so they're they're pretty old. Um, but they just were taking that long to grow. So what we ended up doing was we had them on our mix of grain for them, and they really were not doing very good. They were not growing very well. So I'm not sure if they were lacking vitamins and minerals in their feed or not enough protein or what. So we ended up sending off a feed sample and I'm still waiting for the results of that just to double check at what kind of protein levels we're at and all the other good stuff that I want to test for. So anyways, we fed them milk mixed into their grain because we have the privilege of having a dairy cow. So we used any extra milk that we had to mix into their feed. And once we started doing that again, when they were, oh, I don't know, they were probably about eight to 10 weeks old when we started doing that again, they perked up and they did really well after that. So I think that's gonna be the key for us if we raise them again in the future is to make sure that we're mixing milk into their feed. They seem to really love it and do really well on it. And maybe if we do that in the future, we're going to yield a much larger bird in a much shorter time frame. One thing on my to-do list in the near future is I need to wean my calf off of our milk cow and I also need to wean our filly that Hazel had this spring. Those guys are six and seven months old respectively, and it is time for them to be off mama's milk and start getting weaned. So I'm hoping in the next week or so we can start doing that. It'll give me a chance to start working with our filly. She needs to start being halter broke and getting her feet handled and get ready to be trimmed. Unfortunately, at the moment, my uh, milk machine is down. We initially thought it was the switch, but we fixed that and that didn't seem to be the issue. So. Now our next go-to is we're going to try changing out the capacitor in the vacuum pump and hopefully that does the trick. Yeah, that's kind of the, the downfall of purchasing a cheaper vacuum pump is that now that it's starting to get cooler out during the day and in the mornings, 
it's a hard starter and it really doesn't like to start when it's cold and obviously it's doing some not so great things to the vacuum pump. In the future with that system we're going to have to either bring the whole unit into the house or keep it warm some way before we start it because it really doesn't like starting in the cold. So that needs to get fixed before I wean my calf because once I do that I know I'm gonna have to start milking Penelope every single day probably twice a day to be safe because she does have a history of getting mastitis. So weaning is a stressful time and that's a recipe for mastitis for her. So I want to get that fixed before we do any weaning of calves. Right now on the ranch, it is breeding season for the pigs again. We breed them around this time of year to plan for having baby piglets in February, which is the coldest time of the year here, but is an essential time for us to breed them because everybody wants their pigs in the spring so that they're ready and a good size to butcher in the fall because it seems there isn't many people around that enjoy raising pigs in the winter. I don't know why that is. People have it in their head that you can't raise pigs during the winter, but I gotta go with what the market wants. So we farrow in February. Unfortunately, with all these pigs in these pens, it really brings to light another issue that we're having, which is we always seem to have an issue finding a good solution for pig feeders. We've tried many different things in the past, and they are all a bust. We've tried the rubber pans, which in some cases work really great, especially if you have a pig in a pen by themselves, you can just throw a rubber pan in there and, and they're good for a while while they need to be separated for whatever reason. But that solution does not work long-term because those pans, despite saying heavy duty on them or whatever, they're not. They do not hold up. They get ripped, they get holes in them, they get broken. Um, they get buried into the mud, and they are just a pain in the butt. We've also tried making some pretty heavy-duty 2x6 wooden feeders for them, and those have held up not too bad. They usually last about one or two years before they get completely demolished, and so that's not a permanent option either. Um, so my next go-to is actually we have some uh, tires that are not being used for anything here, so I've watched a few videos about it and I'd really like to try cutting the sidewall out of those with our sawzall and bolting a rubber mat to the bottom of them and making a tire feeder. So I want to give that a go and see if maybe that'll hold up better. I don't want to have self feeders for a breeding herd. They just gorge themselves and it's not the option that I want to pursue. So if you have any ideas of what is a good style of pig feeder, shoot them in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Another project that we got to get going on sometime soon here is we really need to build a legitimate milking stanchion and our plan is to build it under our lean-to on the farrowing barn. The reason why is because I want to store our permanent vacuum pump in the barn and I would like to have a stanchion over there to put cows in. It's just easier, they don't move around, they don't step on hoses and it's going to work great for our heifer that we bought that we need to train to the stanchion this spring. So to have that set up is another goal of mine. Well, it's getting late. Chores have been finished for the evening. It's time to go inside and warm up and start getting ready for bed. It's so sad that it gets dark here early now. I really enjoy summer for that reason where it doesn't get dark until like 11 p.m. But it is now getting winter time. So time to head in. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to another Burnt River Ranch video hope you enjoyed the update and we will see you on the next one